Hello viewers and welcome to another Doctor Who episode review. Today I'm reviewing The Witchfinders, which is the 8th star of series 11. Now I know that I'm reviewing episodes 8, 9 and 10 very very late because series 11 is 2 years ago and I haven't watched these 3 stories since, unfortunately. So when I'm reviewing this one, um, It Takes You Away and The Battle of Branscarf Colos, it's going to be based on what I can remember from two years ago. Um, and um, I'm trying to remember the story and my reactions when I saw it. So yeah, it's a bit of a... Not like a review of, just, of something I've just seen. It's actually something I'm trying to remember. But anyway, let's um, see what I can remember and see if I like it. Um... So yeah, it's uh, The Witchfinders, written by Joy Wilkinson, and it obviously stars Jodie Whittaker as the Doctor, Bradley Walsh as Graham, Tossing Cole as Ryan, and Mandip Gill as Yaz. Um, so, what did I think of this story? I didn't mind it. I didn't mind this story at all, The Witchfinders. Yeah, it was one of the better stories of Series 11. Um, I know that, um, I think it was set in sort of like the 1600s, I think, and I know they met King James, and he was played by Alan Cumming, and, you know, he was the highlight of the story. He did a fantastic performance, and, to be honest, that's exactly what James were like. If you read, if you read... Um, a bit about King James, um, King James the First of England. Anyway, um, he was very like he is portrayed in this story. So that's that's very good, and it'd be great if he came back in another historical story. Yeah, he did a great performance. He was the highlight of the whole story. Um, so the actual. Um, beginning plot with witches getting dunked. Obviously, that's a historical real life event. Um, they used to obviously test if they, if test women if they had the suspicions of evil. Kind of they they tested the women to see if they were witches, and if they had the suspicions that they were, then they'd have the dunk test. Which isn't very good, of course. So, basically, if they dunk in the water for, like, I don't know how long it is, and you come back up alive, then you're a witch. If you don't, then... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> um, so, I liked how they had that aspect of it. And that's kind of really good how they've used that with the 13th Doctor, with her being a female. Obviously, she is going to be suspected as a witch, and so in this story, she does get dunked, and obviously she comes back out alive, I mean, she has to do the rest of the series, but, um, <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought that was really, really good, and, um, yeah, so that plot were very good, King James were very good, but then you had sort of like the middle sort of section where the doctor's getting ready to be dunked and she's talking to King James and that conversation was pretty good you know the doctor was saying I can't remember what, exactly what she was saying but she was saying certain stuff and he was getting slightly agitated by her and but however it was getting him to think about his actions and, and all that sort of stuff and then we come to the conclusion of the story where we've got um, what's her name? Becca Savage, I think. Something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm going to call her Becca, just for the sake of the review. Um, she had some sort of alien that was sort of taking over a body, kind of, and there was I don't know what they were, the mud tree-like creatures, and there was some sort of alien. I don't know what it was, sort of prison kind of keeping 
criminals, alien criminals in, something like that, and she became sort of the alien took over and she became the leader of the Morax. I remember the Morax because it, it reminds me of Lorax. I've never seen the Lorax, but it just reminds me of Lorax. That's what makes me remember the Morax. <laughs> Get it? Um, but anyway, you had that sort of thing, and it, it looks visually good actually. I thought, and it looks kind of creepy with the mud and and in the forest. I thought I thought it was a good setting as well. Um, but then the conclusion for me, from what I can remember, felt a bit rushed. Like it was like one minute you had so like massive tree. Moody aliens, the Morax, you know, coming for the Doctor and the companions and King James. And next minute it's all over and it's it's like, alright, well that's the end of that then. Okay. Um, but that's probably the only downfall. It's The rest of it's, a, you know, a decent story, I thought. Especially for Series 11 as a whole. It's quite a baddish series overall, but I'm going to review that somewhere down the line but yeah this is one of the better stories and um i especially loved the ending when um the tardis leaves and you got the reaction of from uh king james i thought i remember that and it was um it was great to watch because we used to get them a lot you know in classic series definitely and you know sometimes in the new series as well but you don't really see it happen now and that was quite good to see just someone else's reaction of the TARDIS disappearing I just, I just loved that um, but yeah it's an overall decent story and I must say that all three companions in this story were okay actually I wasn't too st I still wasn't too keen on Ryan I think Yaz had a bit more to do and Graham was as good as always um, but yeah I think for the characters in this story I thought they did a quite a good job actually um, so yeah I think that's it um, please tell me more about this story I'm gonna re-watch this story somewhere down the line but I don't know when I'm, I'm not bothered about watching it yet but I would love to know your thoughts on this story because I personally thought it was quite a decent story for the series and uh, yeah I would love to know your opinions so as ever please comment like and subscribe for more videos and hopefully I will see you in my next review bye